Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is on the edge of a break to the downside, which could lead to a lot of liquidations in that case, while Ethereum is now retesting this important line on the chart, which I'll talk about later in the video, so make sure to watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the weekly Bitcoin charts, because obviously right now the price of Bitcoin is playing out a small rejection from this important area of resistance, sitting in between around 36,000 to 38,000. And so obviously, as of recent, nothing much has changed here on the weekly time frame. Once again, we're still running into important resistance, and we're still technically within the much larger bullish trend here on the larger time frames, like the weekly time frame, obviously forming significant higher lows and higher highs in the price of Bitcoin. So of course, on the larger time frames, once again, that has not changed. Even if we see any reversal or something change on a smaller time frame, once again, small time frames are different to the large time frames. And now with that being said, taking a look at the daily Bitcoin chart. And of course, as I've talked about over the last few days, we still technically have a bearish divergence here on the daily Bitcoin chart, because as of right now, we already have confirmed higher highs in the daily candle closes in the price, while also confirming lower highs here in the daily Bitcoin RSI. And so technically speaking, this is an active bearish divergence. But with that being said, as I've also said over the last few days, it's possible we could end up seeing a new higher high in the price of Bitcoin, basically a third higher high, while the RSI is also still sitting in lower highs, simply because that is what we saw at this previous bearish divergence back during around early July. So that is a possibility we need to consider. But either way, we're talking about possibly one more higher high, if not a bearish divergence right now once again. And so essentially what this means is that this shorter term bullish trend here on the daily time frame is basically slowing down. We are losing bullish momentum as of right now. And in fact, here in the daily Bitcoin MACD, over the last one day, we have now seen a bearish cross confirmed in the daily Bitcoin MACD, basically meaning the bearish momentum is beginning to build up a little bit here on the daily time frame, at least in the short term. And once again, the bullish trend on the daily time frame, this shorter term bullish trend is basically slowing down. And once again, even if we see a sideways consolidation or pullback here on the daily time frame, that can still occur within this larger bullish trend that I've been talking about since the beginning of this year. And so what I've been saying over the last one week or so is that it's likely we're going to see some sort of pullback within the next one month or so. And so essentially sometime between now and the end of the year, it's very likely we're going to see some sort of buying opportunity, whether that's down towards around 33k or all the way back down towards around 30 to 31k. Of course, that can depend on other factors that are happening in the market, but at least for now, it is looking like this short-term bullish trend is beginning to slow down, even if we do see one more higher high before a bit of a pullback. But once again, I want to make it very clear that even though I might be expecting some sort of pullback or consolidation, basically a slowdown from this bullish trend within the next one to two months or so, basically sometime later this year, once again, that does not necessarily change the much larger bullish trend, because of course, we can see these short term bearish trends or pullbacks within the larger bullish trend. And so now if you're taking a look at the eight hour Bitcoin chart, of course, as of right now, as I record in this video, the price of Bitcoin is still technically within this ascending parallel channel, which is technically a bullish trend. But right now, as I record in this video, the price of Bitcoin is testing this line of support very close to a possible break to the downside. And in case you're wondering, this line of support is sitting at approximately 34.6K and this line of resistance is sitting at approximately 35.8k. And so basically, if we end up seeing a confirmed break below 34.6k with candle closes back below that level, and ideally flipping that level into new resistance for extra confirmation, basically, if that happens, that would be the first signal in the short term pointing towards a potential trend reversal from this short term bullish trend into potentially a short term bearish trend. That would be the first signal to pay attention to. But once again, at least for now, that has not yet confirmed is just potentially getting very close. And of course, we still have a hidden bullish divergence here on the six hour time frame, which is technically still active as of right now, because at least for now, as I've recorded in this video, we're still seeing a higher low structure here in the price of Bitcoin, while the RSI on the six hour time frame is still sitting in lower lows. And so once again, that's technically a hidden bullish divergence, which as the name suggests is bullish for the price. But once again, if we see a breakdown below that ascending line of support here on the eight hour chart, we're 
resulting in lower lows in the price of Bitcoin. Obviously, lower lows in the price combined with lower lows in the RSI means no bullish divergence at all. And so for the Bitcoin bears out there, that is what we would need to see, a confirmed break to the downside below this support and ideally into lower lows to get rid of this hidden bullish divergence. And in case you're wondering, this previous low right here is sitting at around 34.2k to 34.3k and this low right here is sitting at around 33.6k. So in terms of the candle closes on the six hour chart, those are the lows that we need to break below in order to help invalidate this hidden bullish divergence, which as of right now has not yet happened. But if we do end up seeing that scenario play out with a break to the downside here in the short term into lower lows, then in that case, we do have a major area of liquidations, a major liquidity zone at around 33.9k to 34k approximately here in the liquidation heat map. Because this liquidation heat map, which is based on the Binance BTC to USDT Perpetuals Futures contract, is showing a lot of liquidations right at around 33.9k to 34k once again. And in fact, based on this liquidation heat map, there's approximately around $1 billion worth of long positions that could be liquidated if the price dumps below around 33.9k. And so basically what that means is if we see a strong break below 33.9k liquidating a lot of those long positions, that will likely confirm the short-term trend reversal from this short-term bullish trend into more of a short-term bearish trend. And in fact, if you're looking at these short-term bullish and bearish trends here on the daily time frame, the next potential short-term bearish trend or pullback here on the daily chart could potentially be the final good buying opportunity for Bitcoin before the Bitcoin halving happening early next year, around April next year. And once again, even in that case, the bullish trend on the weekly time frame can still remain intact. And so essentially, if we do end up seeing any decent pullback here on the daily time frame, like what we saw here or here, for example, personally, I'll be taking that as an opportunity to simply accumulate more Bitcoin before the coming Bitcoin halving and bull cycle. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the three day ETH to US dollar chart. And over the last one day, not much has changed on this chart right here, because of course, as of right now, we still have an active breakout and an active falling wedge pattern on this time frame with a price target at around 2.1k and this price target only invalidates once we either hit the price target or if we see a confirmed break back below the point of the breakout which is at around 1.7k give or take and so if you're zooming into the daily time frame what we can see over the last one day is another daily candle close above 1890 and in fact this latest daily candle close was just above 1.9k and so technically speaking that is another small confirmation signal helping to confirm the breakout above this important area of resistance based on the volume profile indicator sitting in between around 1850 to 1890. And in fact, right now, as of recording this video, the current daily candle is actually retesting this area of previous resistance, which could potentially now act as new support. And so this is really a critical moment for the price of ETH, because obviously, if we confirm a break back below around 1850, then that essentially invalidates the breakout to the upside. And in that case, if we confirm a break back below around 1850 with daily candle closes back below 1850, then in that case, the next important area of support is sitting in between around 1730 to 1750. But if we can now hold above 1850 and basically find support in this area in between 1850 to 1.9k once again, if we can bounce from that area, then in that case, that would be a very bullish signal because obviously that would further confirm the breakout to the upside with a successful retest that would be bullish price structure. And in that case, if we can now find support in between 1850 to 1.9k with a bounce from that area, then in that case, the next important area of resistance to the upside is sitting in between around $2,000 to 2030 based on these previous highs. And as for the daily Ethereum price oscillators, once again, as of right now, these are still looking more bullish than bearish. We have not confirmed any bearish reversal signals here in the daily Ethereum price oscillators. But with that being said, they are beginning to slow down in terms of the bullish momentum. Of course, the RSI is at overbought territories right now, and the MACD over the last one to two weeks has been declining somewhat in bullish momentum. And so basically compared to this massive high momentum movement to the upside that we saw a couple weeks ago, right now we are simply seeing less bullish momentum. But with that being said, we have not confirmed a bearish trend reversal as of right now. And now if you're staying on the daily time frame, of course, we still have this active breakout and active broadening wedge pattern with a price target at around 1980. And once again, this price target only in 
invalidate if either we hit the price target and complete the pattern, or if we see a confirmed break back below around 1730. And so of course, if you took this trade, if you opened a long position anywhere near this breakout, then personally in this case, I would be putting my stop loss just above the point of invalidation at the very least, if not further into profits. So that in the worst case scenario, let's just say if we reverse right now before hitting the price target, then in the worst case scenario, you get stopped out of the trade wherever your stop loss is. And if it's above your entry price in the case of a long position, you are exiting the trade in profits. But of course, that is not personal financial advice. That's just letting you know what I usually do in these breakout trades as the price continues higher. And if you want to know where I trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many other cryptos with long positions and short positions, I usually trade over on Bybit. And I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And in fact, if you use that link down below to make a Bybit account, you can claim up to a $30,000 deposit bonus. But unfortunately, there are some countries around the world where you may not be able to access Bybit due to different regulations. And so if that's the case, there is also Bitflex as another exchange, another option, which is just like Bybit, but you don't need KYC to access Bitflex. And in fact, if you use the link down below this video in the description or in the pinned comments to make a Bitflex account, you can be eligible for a brand new Apple Watch giveaway happening very soon. And all you need to do to enter that giveaway is once again, make a Bitflex account using that link down below this video, make a deposit of $100 or more on that account, and then simply make one trade on the derivatives market over at Bitflex to enter that giveaway. And so if you're trading crypto anyway, you might as well check that out in the description down below and in the pinned comment. But anyway, if you're zooming into the short term, looking at the four hour ETH to US dollar chart, obviously right now, as I've recorded this video, the price of ETH is retesting this important previous line of resistance, which has recently acted as new support. And this line right here is sitting at approximately 1870. And so if we see a confirmed break below 1870 with four hour candle closes back below that level, then obviously that would be a short term bearish signal. But even in that case, of course, the price of ETH would simply be breaking back into this ascending parallel channel, which is still technically a bullish trend with higher lows. And so in that case, we also have this ascending line of support, which is sitting at around 1790 to 1.8K. But believe it or not, you can make money in crypto no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways in the short term. And if you want to know how to do that, then watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.